next guest is a New York Times best-selling author. She's a TV personality. She's an interior designer. She's a good friend of our show. And today she is here making us a delicious zucchini fritter eggs Benedict. Mm -hmm. one, which is perfect for Christmas morning or any morning. Any morning. Please welcome to our home one of our good friends, Aww. one of our favorites, Molly Anderson. Thank we you love you, Molly. We're so excited to have you here. Also joining us at the counter, welcome back from trial and error, Nicholas yeah. D'Augusto. Nice to have you here. Thank you for having me. We're going to be speaking with you in just a little bit about your second season. Yes. And about your baby coming up in yes. the second season of life. Wow. These are all very positive. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's exactly He's right. Happy to talk about all of this. That's things. right. That's right. Now, Ma, I know you're a big fan of the Hallmark Christmas movies. I, okay, but before anybody says anything, it's the truth. <laughs> I, I really do yeah. watch them. Yeah, I know you do. And there's I know. one in particular. Yes. That every time I see it, I think of you. Oh. You may know which one I'm talking about. It's A December Bride. And the reason why is because oh. Jessica Lowndes yes. plays an interior designer in the movie. I'm just saying. And you're one of the most fabulous <laughs> interior designers oh, I've ever kind. seen. You're too kind. So I always go, you know what? Maul could have been playing that part. Oh. You know, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. But I really Based do love it. You. I really do I love it. I know you do. So this is a really great recipe that, that you whip up. And, and it, you can make it for if you're if you're vegan, if you're paleo. Yes. Not vegan. Vegetarian, yeah. paleo, anything. Well, actually vegan. It could work. Without the Egg. Without the egg, sure. right? You could just have the fritter. Well, you know, the idea is we get so busy at Christmas. It's all about the kids and our husbands and, and partners are putting bikes together and we're worried about all the presents getting wrapped and we forget each other. Yeah, so the idea true. is to take time for each other. So this fritter recipe is amazing. And right here in the bowl, what we have is zucchini that's been used with a large side of the grater. Okay. And we've got our onions and our sea salt and we've let it sit. We let it rest for 20 minutes. Okay. All right, then we're going to drain the water out. I, I just literally pick it up, squeeze, squeeze it. it out. You can use cheesecloth if you want as well. And then we're ready to go and add more to it. Okay. So here's what so we're going to do. Said. We have our egg, our beautiful right. egg, which is going in. Okay. We okay. have our gluten-free breadcrumbs. Okay. Now I want you to know if somebody isn't paleo, you could use any type of breadcrumbs you like. So this recipe can be changed to just about anything you love sure, that and works. have in your cabinet. I'm a firm believer of using what you have. Okay. And then we've got to so have what did we just our pepper. Oh, sorry, parsley. I got okay. so excited. That's okay. Our, our breadcrumbs, parsley, and, and pepper. pepper. Never now, have enough pepper. Of paleo. Yes. I think there are a lot of misconceptions yes. about what yes. paleo is. What do True. you think is the biggest misconception about paleo? That it's a total drag. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, really, know. that they just think all we do is eat fat, you know, and we're just eating meat all the time. But the truth of the matter is, it is looking at food differently. It's about the presentation of everything. It's about getting back to healthy, natural foods and doing the best with what you have. And isn't it sort of, um, they call it the caveman diet? Yes, they do, because the idea was meat, right? Right. Basics. But I want you to know something. You know how I learned about paleo? What I did was, and while, while I'm scooping here, I'm going to add these to the avocado oil over here. I love you're using avocado Thank oil you. as well. I know. Yeah. Don't you love, I'm avocado everything, yeah, so which is great because that is paleo. Yeah. But the idea oh is that you have to remember, the way I learned about paleo was wasn't the typical. Okay. What I decided to do, because I'm very particular, <laughs> is that I went and I Googled everything and I found out that what I could eat. Okay. And I found out what I couldn't eat. Right. Then I decided what I loved, and then I made my own recipes around that. And that's really the approach you should take. Exactly. It should be a lifestyle choice. Yeah, and when we when they yes. call it the caveman diet, the reason why is because cavemen yes. did eat meat. Yes. Well, let's let's remember how they got their meat. Yes. They had to actually hunt Hell, the meat. Yes. And it took we're about a month to get one piece of meat. Well, and we're yeah. fortunate that we don't have right. to do that. But now, okay, the fritters are cooking about two minutes. I like them extra crispy, don't you? Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. And this is in place of a hash brown for me, so trust me. So I'm taking our, our Fresno chilies and the garlic. Whoops. Okay. Oh, the What's the heat the level of those peppers? Oh, they are seriously like, hot. Like on a one to ten. Ooh. Like that. 10. Scotch. Okay, yeah. 10. I'll make sure not to rub my yes. eye. Yeah. And, just and then I've got so the vinegar, the <laughs> wonderful, vinegar. wonderful like, vinegar. Oh, okay. And then we've got our lime juice, oh, which nice. is fabulous. Okay. And then we've got some coconut sugar because, coconut we, you, know, sugar. Sh you know, paleo is absent the sugar, okay. but the coconut sugar is natural. Oh, and I will right. let you do the honors. Okay. And I'm going to check these. I think these are looking good. Let's see. Okay, I love the way locked. you made those. That's what my fritters always fall apart, but you put the ball in yes. and then smushed it in place. Yes. There we go. Yes. Okay, so we've got that sauce going. Isn't that beautiful? That's, but we also have our poached eggs over we here. We do, but don't forget, put it in a container like this, a little squeezy bottle, because you want it to look good, right? And can you keep that yes, for a little while? Yeah. Yes, you can put okay. it in the refrigerator. Okay. You can put this on okay. anything, really. So well, what is your trick to the perfect um, <laughs> yeah, poached egg? Because they can be tricky. Treading lightly. It yeah, can be very kidding. precarious, but look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That is yeah. So we're going to put one more on here, and then do you want to do me uh, the sure. honors of grabbing just, the sauce? 
and I drizzle on top. Yes, isn't that pretty? Now, it's, if you did like a poached so egg, could you do a fried egg? So you could do a fried egg, yeah, you could really do scrambled fun. eggs, you could do anything you want. And then we've got some crispy leeks because who doesn't like a little crunch, oh, wow. right? Oh, leeks, look I feel, it. are <laughs> underappreciated. Where, no, I love did it. you make those? And I love, look at, I love to pile these up. And think about presentation, okay? And it doesn't take very long. Look how fast this was. Can we also was, talk right? about your and new design book? Yeah. Yes, your new yes. book has also now become a bestseller. Oh, so. thank, wow. you. Yeah. thank you. Thank you. What's the concept behind this one? Well, the idea is teaching people how to live a fully sensory aware life, meaning everything is to our senses. The way this looks, the way it smells. When you walk into a home, you want music, you want candles, you want flowers. Yeah. It's teaching our children by example. It's a real, really a 365 book and also how to be uh, using color in your life because color holds emotions. That's so it's right. really important. And it doesn't you know? take a lot of money. That's what I like no. about the book. You're not telling people to spend tons no. of money. You're and just isn't this how to colorful right. and beautiful? It is. Just like Ken good. and I, just Ken like, and I oh, hated it. So <laughs> <laughs> struggling through this. Oh, cheers. Oh, cheers. Honey. Like oh, this you. is so good. For the full recipe, yes. head on over to HallmarkChannel.com. And plus, be sure to tune in to A December Bride and all of your very favorite Hallmark Channel Christmas movies during Christmas Keepsake Week right here. Where, Brian? On Hallmark on Channel. On Hallmark They're Channel. They're the best, I yeah. promise you. I'm going to be paleo mm. if I can eat like this. Yes, you can. Yeah.